Hello, Rank Gauntlet enthusiasts, and people just interested in scoring some PvP rewards. We are, once again, doing the uh, Rank Gauntlet Bands and Ups review, and building some sample teams. Uh, today, I'm actually planning on streaming some Rank Battles with the sample teams that I'll build at uh, around 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. UTC, or basically an hour after the dailies reset and the gauntlet opens up so if you're interested in that come uh, check it out i guess so yeah let's see what we've got for this week's bands and ups okay so our band three for this week is claudia that's interesting obviously well beyond the realm of usable our band twos are game ludmilla Amy, and Rearm Titan. Which is also kind of interesting. We're going to have to take a look at how Ban Rearm Titan ended up at Band 2. Um, Ludmilla, Band 2. Oh well, yeah. These are all basically unusable at Band 2. I'm guessing Titan and Amy are going to be rotation ba I mean, uh, casting bands. And Gaon and Ludmilla probably are the uh, rotation bands. Alright, and at band 1, oh, it's not even that many things. I guess uh, Claudia really ate the bands this week. But yeah, uh, band 1, that's going to be Laura, uh, Riam Kang, about time, uh, Gremory, Awake Yuna. I'm really happy to see that. <laughs> uh, Serapel, Riam Daleks, that was quick. That was quick. Uh, Riam Desterosa, uh, Riam... Regular Ministra, Thunderbolt, and Replacer King. As for band ships, we've got <laughs> the Coffin Six at band two. RAP mech users. Uh Blue at band one. Lake Superior at band one. No Ohio at band one, and kind of surprisingly no Albion at band one. And the ups are going to be Tarask, what's her face, Brownie Moore, Ryan Ferrier, and Goliath. That's, that's not great news. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see, where do we start? Okay, so as far as healers go, Evelyn and Carmen are now back. They are unbanned and completely usable, whereas Claudia is well and truly gone. So I'm expecting to see both of those, sometimes on the same team. Uh, worth noting that along with them, Awaken Jushiyun is not banned. So this will probably be a decent week for people who like to run Awaken Jushiyun hospital teams. Because he's got, because we've got a Awaken Jushiyun and the hospital, both available and ready to go. Um, yeah, the band twos, not even really worth mentioning. Gaon, yeah, Gaon actually hasn't been banned in a while, so people have been putting her to work, and apparently the bands are there to show for it. Um, yeah, let's see the casting bands for a second. Yep, okay, that makes sense. So Amy, first wing, band two, rearm titan, band two, thunderbolt, band one, and rearmed, I mean, replacer king, band one. So yeah, I was right. The Titan is uh, just cast banned. People just do not want to deal with that. And the band ships, oh, that's kind of funny. Coffin 6 and Blue Bridge Mark 2, that makes sense. Okay, so yeah. Um, let's see. At band 1, Rearm Laura is not usable. Uh, Rearm Kang at band 1 is... Probably usable, though, if that's what you need. But uh, Rearmed Elizabeth is available, so if you just want to do some good, reliable backline damage, Rearmed Elizabeth is there for you for that. Uh, but unlike Rearmed Kang, Rearmed Elizabeth can't really be built defensively. You can't really use her as, like, a distraction. So it's not necessarily exactly the same role. But, um, yeah, no, if your main concern is to just jump in and, like, attack a unit just as it gets summoned, then, uh, Rearm Elizabeth is there and Rearm King is still usable. Uh, Ban 1 Grammary? 
I don't know. I, I don't really use her that much. I did get her as soon as she came up uh, when she was released, but I haven't really put her to a lot of work. She's kind of... Uh, it takes some practice to really get good at using her since you need to pl deploy her within a certain range of your front line in order for her not to just like disappear and go to the back, at which point she's kind of wasted. So, yeah, she's tricky to learn, but she's very powerful if you kind of get a sense for how to use her, especially if you give her a good uh, defensive <clears throat> set. Awaken Yuna, I'm personally really thankful to see, because I do like to use Awaken Jake as like a backup defender, and Awaken Yuna really messes him up. Uh, she's just really good at melting defenders in general. So, always nice to see her ban. That ban one, no one's going to be running her. Um, ban one, Serapel. Um, yeah, that's... Five cost is too expensive for a defender. You know, straight up. Uh, but yeah, this this in general looks like a rough week for uh, frontliners. Because Serapel's out, Rearmed Alex is out. Uh, Rearmed Estrosa is out. And that leaves us with... Um, Ram Casey bins. So I really hope you guys have Ram Casey bins because there's not a lot of great defender options this week. It's basically her and I don't know, I guess any awakened defenders if you have them, but those are not super popular or reliable at higher levels of play. Um, we still have twins free. Uh, that's Einz and Zwei. We still have. Um, Rearmed Orca Free, which is actually very tanky if you give her like a proper tank set. And I don't know. I think that's most of it. I'm not sure if Rearmed Alex is usable at Band 1. You wouldn't want to lead her. Um, but yeah, Rearmed Alex... I don't know, it, it might be worth using her at Ban 1. I don't know, it's too early to say, since she only came out in Global uh, last week, midway through the week. And clearly she was used so much in that short period of time that she's already Ban 1. Um, but yeah, I, I might experiment and see if Rearmed... I mean, yeah, Rearmed Alex is usable at Ban 1, because the thing is, what people... what a lot of people don't really know about why Rearmed Alex is good is that yeah let's have a look at her for a second actually let's look have a look at her when we build teams we'll come back to her but rearmed alex is very interesting as to why she's so tanky all right so yeah front line definitely in some trouble uh minister ban she has been unbanned for a while i think she's really good at band zero when she's not banned at band one it's probably a bit too much for her thunderbolt band one Happy to see it. Um, that and Kang being banned means at least two of the go-to um, terror comps units are out. And Replacer King Ban 1 along with Blue Bridge Ban 1 is um, still usable. I guess we'll see. I I'm expecting to see some people running Replacer King this week. Uh, it's definitely usable. Not as good as when he's off band, but I think that's for the best. So, oh yeah, right. And we've also have, um, what's her face? Awakened Horizon is free this week. And so is the new Detroit. So I'm expecting to see a lot of Awakened Horizon rush teams. Awakened Lee Suyun is also free. And she is a pretty powerful counter for uh, Awakened Horizon. Since if you build her to be specifically anti-Horizon with her outfit, then she can sometimes just explode her on deploy. Uh, and in general, Awakened Lee Suyun is supposedly pretty decent. At least for killing air units. Air units are not really very safe this week. Um, but even so, I think uh, that Rita is probably usable 
and also pretty effective against um, Awakened Horizon. So there are definitely options for dealing with Awakened Horizon. Awakened Jake is also free, so there's that. Um, all of the defender killers, except for Gaeun, are free, and not a lot of people build Gaeun to be a defender killer in the first place. So basically, all of those options are open. All of the classics. Um, yeah. Seems to be mostly just people are going to have a hard time having some good frontliners, especially if they haven't rearmed uh, KC Bins yet. Definitely would say that if you're not going to have Ram KC Bins, and if you don't have, uh, uh, what's your one call it? Raphael Ajuri, then you're probably going to have a bad time this week. It's going to be hard to break through, especially with uh, two of the main healers on band. I would expect to see probably a decent amount of just big stall comps. And as a response, there's probably going to be some... Uh... Oh yeah, Awakened... Not Awakened. Rearmed Crestal Shaolin is also free this week. That's going to be uh, pretty notable. Usually, especially in lower and mid leagues, lots of people run Crystal Shaolin because she's so good in PVE. Everybody recommends people just build her as like the first rearmed unit for new players. So pretty much everyone who wants to use her will have her. And as a result, that's probably going to affect the meta lower levels. And so overall, I think what we should be expecting is... There's probably going to be a decent amount of terrors this week. Was there an up unit relevant to that? Uh, yeah. People can also run, like, Siege. Yeah, I think at cost 4, we should be expecting to see some Goliath Siege teams, which are going to be pretty similar to terror comps as well. Um, yeah, Goliath Siege along with... Um, what's that thing called? The Albion ship to... Yeah, go stealth, that's going to be an issue. But uh, Rearm Casey Benz can see through stealth. Whereas uh, Rearm Daleks, who can also see stealth, and Rearm Kang, who can also see stealth, they're both a banned one, so they're unlikely to be seeing much use. But Rearm Casey Benz, yeah, no, I would say you should make every effort to Rearm Casey Benz if you plan to play ranked this week. Because otherwise, yeah, it's going to be rough with the Goliath and everything else. Um, Yeah, Ryan Farrier at cost 2 is pretty cool. He's surprisingly tanky and decent, you know, for a uh, super rare. Uh, for someone without MDL, he's actually pretty tanky. He does a lot of stunning. Um, At, at cost 2, he's pretty usable. But at cost 2, he's also vulnerable to being taken over by Harab. Um, so yeah, definitely be expecting some Ryan Farriers users. There's definitely people, even at, like, the top levels, who will, like, slot them into their teams. Tarask, I don't know, there's probably going to be some people. Uh, Brownie Moore, at cost one, is probably quite good for soldier teams. But there aren't a ton of people who are running soldier teams, so I wouldn't really expect it to be, like, a big meta-defining thing. But yeah, overall, the ups are pretty decent this week. They are somewhat niche, you could say, options, but they're options. Um, yeah, no, I think that's it. Let's go build some sample teams based on what we now know. And we'll build them in this interface as usual. Okay, so first team, comfort pick. You'll be unsurprised to learn that as long as it's not at plan two, my comfort pick will be the Lake Superior and Kim Hana. And hopefully I'll be able to get some new operators and uh, work on that eventually. I've been trying to build up Olive Park because Olive Park is like crazy powerful. But the problem is I haven't been able to get one with uh, area damage resistance as a passive. And that's a really good one to have. So as soon as I have that, I'll start like merging my olive parks and try to build one of these like meta operators but you know gotta work with what you've got all right so that's the uh 
the operator and the ship out of the way. Units. All right, let's start with just what I know, and then we'll see if we can make adjustments. So put in Jake for now. Um, yeah, Casey Bins. That's going to be our leader for sure. Uh, Jake, probably. Who else have we got? Shaolin, absolutely. Always a big fan. I'll put Ram Han Sorum in here for now. Uh, we can Lee Soo-yeon, definitely. Evelyn, always a big fan. Good to see her off ban. Need another defender killer. That man rifleman is an option. Might go with that man rifleman. Might go with something a bit more tanky. Let's put in a man rifleman for now. And could use some more disruption. Let's go with probably Lily, if we can find her. I really should favor her. I feel like absolutely no luck finding Lily every time. It's always a process. All right. So let's see. Frontline, healer, sniper, defender killers, utility, and disruption. Cool. Yeah, this is uh, probably a solid team. The cost is all right. All of the roles are filled. Got our... Yeah. Cool. All right. And let's build a second team. Let's see if we can make one without awakened units. Maybe we can even make a couple teams. Maybe I can show off what, a, what an awakened horizon rush might look like if one were to build it. Only I'm not sure what commander really goes with an Awakened Horizon Rush. Could be Serena Crew. That's probably a good idea. Maybe it's not. We'll see. But for now, let's just pretend it is. Uh, let's see. So, if I was to make an Awakened Horizon Rush team, since I did pick up Awakened Horizon a while ago, how would I make it? Yumina... Ryan Kang probably still fine. Uh, so we've got... Who else have we got? Spira, probably. Maybe Horizon. Oops, not her. Probably not her, I assume. Uh, what else can we do? Awakened Horizon. Rush Team. Do, do, do. Twins? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> and uh, one more. Had someone in mind and now I forgot him. What was it? Oh, um, probably, if I had her, I'd probably put Raphael Jury in here. Since I don't, though, I can't. Assault Trooper, possible option, since you can uh, front de forward deploy them right on top of the ship. It's kind of like a... Or you can use them... Yeah, you can use them, or you can use, potentially, Admin Rifleman, because sometimes you might end up with the situation. If you're doing... If you're playing an Awakened Horizon Rush... You're, like, deploying Horizon right in the beginning. And if you watched my third uh, Rank Gauntlet Guide video, you saw that a good way to respond to an Awakened Horizon forward deploy is um, sending out your own frontliner as, forward, as far forward as possible and trying to get her to turn around. So, in that regard, if you are playing an Awakened Horizon rush team, and the, sh the battle ends up on your side of the field, which is not where you want it to be, then you want to try to kill whatever has appeared there as quickly as possible. And um, yeah, admin rifleman would be a good option for that. Uh, assault trooper would also be a good option for that. The, th the cool thing about assault troopers is because you can deploy them pretty much anywhere, you have a lot more freedom with them. 
you can have them immediately support your front push if you're doing one, or you can try to backdoor the enemy ship, or you can try to use them to kill off whatever is on top of your ship. So both of them could be good options here. Yeah, I'd say if you're going to be playing a Awakened Horizon Rush team, it might look something like this. You could also potentially put in Awaken Lee Soo somewhere in here, maybe in place of Horizon or Twins. Maybe this is too much of uh, frontline units, uh, and you could replace one of them with Awaken Lee Soo That way, whenever you inevitably run into another Awaken Horizon rush team or some other kind of Horizon, Awaken Horizon team, then you can then you have like a counter rather than hoping that your own team will figure it out. Yeah, in general, I think Awaken Lee Soo might fit in here well. Uh, but yeah, that's my idea. And also, yeah, no, that's fine. It would look something like this. But let's build a more, like, traditional team. This is just a third, a bonus sample team for people who are wondering how you might build, uh, might build an Awaken Horizon Rush team, which I have no personal experience of running. Uh, okay, so, actual third actual second sample team in a standard kind of format. Rian Casey. Um, let's see. Probably Einstein Zwei. Or maybe non-leader rearmed Orca could also work here. I do think that rearmed orca if you give her like good tanky gear and if you support her with heals and all that kind of stuff that she is actually pretty decent at staying alive i don't think that there's any oh wait 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 actually you know what i take that back um because crystal shaolin is free this week that's going to cause trouble for rearmed orca because rearmed crystal shaolin really messes up orca in my experience so, yeah, maybe not a great week for Orca, especially off-leader. Um, yeah, let, let's skip Orca, I guess, for this week. So here's one unit I haven't talked about this uh, in previous videos, and that's uh, Rearm Sylvia. She is a unit I actually didn't really know anything about when I made my second video about... Uh, the Ranked Gauntlet Guide. And what her whole thing is, basically, is her special skill. Which basically shoots a little orb that goes as far back as possible. And then explodes for area damage. Which, you know, it deals over time. Now this is actually a really damaging attack. It can seriously mess up backline units. It'll probably in a single shot kill some of the weaker ones and probably in two it'll take care of uh most backline units so yeah she is pretty expensive to deploy at four cost but she can absolutely mess up a backline if she's uh allowed to just do her thing safely um yeah i'm not super familiar with the rest of her kit Something about an EMP and seal. Sure, it's decent. But I think for the most part, people are focused on her special when they use her. Uh, just for its ability to kill backline units. But also, keeping in mind that she's very expensive to deploy, you gotta make sure you pick the right time to send her out. And yeah, hopefully I'll read a bit more about her and try to get a better understanding of what else she brings to the battle besides her special. Alright, but yeah, she's definitely a good choice this week, just because I think there's going to be a lot of, like, kind of build up a lot of healers, a lot of uh, units that kind of dig in, and yeah, slow battles. So she should be good for uh, destroying enemy backliners and removing the supporters. Alright, we'll put rearmed Han Sorum in, and I am actually starting to get some mech gear. Not quite there yet, but 
Ifrit is almost usable for me. And it's a good idea to have at least one decent mech attack speed set, I would say. Because there's a lot of units that can uh, benefit from attack speed in terms of uh, mechs. Ifrit in a full attack speed set is good. Rearmed, not rearmed, Awakened Horizon in a full attack speed set is good. Regular Horizon can use probably at least the attack speed armor. And if you're really desperate, you could use the rest of the attack speed set. But yeah, at least regular Horizon can use an attack speed maze armor. So yeah, it's good to have at least one attack speed maze set. Okay, what else have we got? What else do we need? Yeah, I would say, hopefully, as usual, everyone has a copy of her. She should be definitely good to run this week. If you don't, though, but if you have Grendel for some reason, Grendel is an also, also an option if you have, like, a nice anti-striker set for it. Definitely can run Grendel here instead. Uh, if you have rearmed Mia, I haven't rearmed mine yet. But she's also a decent option as long as you can keep her safe. Um, as for healers, let's bring Carmen wherever she is. There she is. Got her skin. <laughs> and okay, what else do we need? We got frontliners, got a healer, got striker killer, got defender killers, some disruption. Mm. Yeah, if you have regular king, that's an option. Yeah, let's just make it... <clears throat> let's make it rearmed Elizabeth, I would say. Yeah, that sounds good. Where is she? Rearmed Elizabeth. Have I favorited her? <clears throat> have not. Okay. Rearmed Elizabeth. There she is. And for the ship... Let's go with the Glaipnir pod type, because it's just a really powerful ship. Very, very popular at the upper levels of play, so may as well get used to the, using it. And we can use potentially Serena crew. She's, if you have her, yeah, she can be very helpful against Awakened Horizon Rush teams, which are probably something we're going to be seeing a lot of this week, since she can... Uh, remove the invulnerability barrier and keep it off for several seconds. The higher level you get her to, the longer that'll last. <clears throat> um, but yeah, for the operator, you can pretty much run whatever you feel like, I guess. Whatever of the big meta ones, you know, Sigma, Kim Hana, Serena Crew, Olive Park, if you have her leveled up a bit. They're all good options. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this team's got, I think, everything we need. All the roles. Good disruption. Decent front line. Um, yeah, if you want, you could potentially run... Rearmed Orca here. Um, as long as you don't use her as leader, because that might be making your own life difficult. You could try running double support with Casey. You could try... Putting an Awakened unit here instead, uh, an Awakened Defender if you're big into them. But yeah, Rearm Casey, definitely a good choice for this week. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this week. If you liked the video, hope you'll leave a like. Um, subscribe if you enjoy these videos and want to be seeing them every week. And yeah, check out my stream later today in a while. <laughs> Again, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. UTC, or an hour after the reset of the dailies and the gauntlet opens up. Okay, thanks for watching.